Hi, here's a video showing you how to make a concrete skull. Really good for Halloween. Starting right from the beginning, I've got a couple of silicon um, moulds here. I bought these off eBay. This one is a particularly good quality one. Um, it's quite expensive, about £25. And then the other ones, like this one, which is nowhere near the quality, and about um, £12-£15. So what I've done is I've got a piece of plywood, and I've cut a hole for this to actually sit in. And I've got this bucket here, and I've filled it with water. Now I found that by resting it on the water, it supports the case, and it's a good, cheap way of doing it. So in the mix we've done, I've experimented with lots of mixes, and I found the best way is to use a quick drying cement and a fine um, plastering sand. So the mix is one part of the quick drying cement, the three parts of the very fine sand. Now it's important that the sand is fine and has no stains in it, this becomes uh, obvious later on. Yeah, so it's a three to one mix, but I know this skull actually requires slightly more um, the mould than, than the three to one. So I'm going to put another half in there and add another big full one. Next up, we add some water to the mix. And we want this to be portable texture. So I mix that up. It takes a bit of time, but it's important to get it mixed nice and smooth and completely mixed so you don't get little patches of sand. It's got to be very well mixed. More water. Okay, so our, our mix is now made. It's a nice horrible mix, um, as you can see there, nice and smooth. So we start off by pouring a certain amount into our mould, about halfway. Now, to make sure there's no air bubbles, we need to give it a tap. So we tap it all over, and you can see the bubbles coming, rising up. This gives a stronger end result, and stops there being air pockets. So, we pour a little bit more in. Now, this would be a very heavy skull if it was completely filled with cement. So what I do, is so I've got a, a disposable plastic glass. We fill that with water and we push this into the mould. So what we'll get, we'll get um, a hollow part in the skull, which obviously makes it more easier to handle and lighter, but more important, it makes it easier to carve out the eyes at a later date. So just push him down, make sure there's no bubbles in, and a piece of wood on top, something heavy to weight it down, he'll do. Now, it's quite critical to leave this for the right amount of time, it really comes by experience and ambient temperature but our daylight today it's quite nice and warm we'll come back to this one in about one hour's time it is a quick setting cement 